Now, the Washington summit will bring together two leaders with very different styles and political philosophies. Presidents Moon and Trump will meet at the White House this Friday. Our Connie Kim takes a look at what issues will be on the table, North Korea a major one, and how the two allies will either try to narrow their differences on those or instead choose to focus on where they do agree. With the controversy over Thad looming large and their potentially contrasting approaches to North Korea, this week's summit between a conservative and unpredictable U.S. leader and a liberal South Korean president could determine the course of Seoul-Washington relations over the next few years. With both administrations in their early stages, a President's Moon and Trump summit at the White House is being watched closely, especially following the sudden freeze in the Thad installation. Absolutely, North Korea will be front and center on the agenda and the various aspects of the North Korea situation, including, I think, the FAD missile de uh, deployment, which, of course, is uh, totally North Korea related. In contrast to the former U.S. officials' expectations, officials and experts in Seoul believe THAAD, while a key issue, probably won't play a central role in the discussions. Uh, rather than they will talk about the, the big issues like uh, North Korea or regional security architecture, the, the future of our U.S. alliance, and also they will discuss what kinds of contribution the alliance has made up to now and will make in the future. Another factor to watch closely is the coordination of the respective North Korea policies. President Moon has called for more exchanges and engagement with the North within the framework of international sanctions, but President Trump is taking a more hardline approach. I think this, they will reiterate they are open for dialogue, but they say it is a moment of sanctions and pressure. Of course, there could be some differences between the two presidents and two administrations over the conditions of opening up the dialogue. Officials in Washington have indicated the U.S. is willing to talk with the North in the long run, as seen in the secret Washington Pyongyang talks that have reportedly been taking place for more than a year. And President Trump is also not one to shirk from a challenge. This is a guy who likes to engage with um, uh, potentially hostile adversaries. So I think there is a, a willingness uh, in Washington to, to engage in this upcoming summit. Maybe this is the key for President Moon to talk to Trump about when would be the right time to talk to the North Koreans. With a lot of uncertainty on both sides, the joint statement and press briefing following the summit is expected to give us a first glimpse of what Presidents Moon and Trump thrashed out during their first face-to-face. -face. Connie Kim, Arirang News.